The Sustainable Development Goals are a complex global agenda. It is imperative to involve youth in driving their localization efforts. By allocating necessary resources, youth can devise and implement solutions to address the unique challenges their communities face. Over past decades, youth engagement in sustainable development has gained significant momentum. Young people are now recognized as dynamic agents of change, possessing innovative ideas and the energy to drive progress. This global youth-led development movement is marked by initiatives that empower youths, providing opportunities to contribute to their communities, participate in decision-making, and develop leadership skills. Urban areas, hubs of innovation and growth, can benefit significantly from youth engagement in shaping urban development policies. This involvement can make cities more inclusive, sustainable, and resilient. Dear geospatial colleagues and friends, on behalf of the United Nations Geospatial Network, now with 42 agencies, funds, and programs across the UN system, a warm welcome to this launch of the One Map of Humanity. Block by Block is a joint program between Mojang and UN Habitat where we use Minecraft to bring people together to communicate their ideas about public space. You know, cities has to be for all, very inclusive to everyone. I mean, in many developing countries, young people are make up 50 or sometimes even more of the, of the population. Specifically, youth are very seldom involved in the processes of, of planning and talking about their cities. I came up with a skate park idea and uh, some trees surrounding the park. Minecraft lowers the barrier so that anyone could actually have a say in their public space. Because even the little kids like, uh, like me could help out with, like, make the city a better place. Towards the end of the workshop, the participants are able to take their designs and present them to local city council, architects, as well as the community. Then there are discussions about what things should be implemented, what things shouldn't, and why. We've also seen the local leaders are really inspired too. They maybe wouldn't have thought to go to that, the young people or students or older people for input on a space like that. And when they do, they're really energized and excited by the creativity that comes out of it. I and many young people, we're up from our future. We've been forced to grow, to act, to think like adults, because we cannot watch as our future is shut, our home, Mother Earth, burning, heating in drought, and we do nothing. Effective youth engagement revolves around inclusivity and representation. To empower youth voices, we must create spaces where they can articulate their perspectives, share experiences, and influence policy discussions. Initiatives like youth-led conferences, online platforms for idea sharing, and partnerships that amplify youth narratives can achieve this. Fostering intergenerational dialogue is equally essential. Involving youth in SDG localization is not just important, it's imperative. Imagine this. Different homes, different lives, yet one shared living room that connects us all. Yes, we're talking about our public spaces. But how do those public spaces contribute to our city's health and well-being? 
Ideally, a public space is just around the corner, within a few minutes walk, waiting for you, for us. Okay, but what makes a space public? We at UN Habitat define public space as places that are accessible and enjoyable by all for free. They are the heartbeat of our cities. Like? Streets, sidewalks, bridges and stairs, and there's more. Public open spaces like parks, gardens, playgrounds, beaches, squares, and public facilities like libraries, cultural centers, markets, and sport venues. Public spaces are more than just pretty places. They have many benefits. For example, parks and play areas are game changers for our health. These places are perfect for moving, grooving, and staying active. We are here in California with our partners at IYC, UCLA's Luskin School, to bring the messages of the United Nations to the international youth community here at UCLA. We founded the International Youth Conference because we wanted to get engaged into the decision-making process. And now we are engaging young people into policy-making, but also encouraging them to be active so they can be an actual decision-makers and policy-makers. This is an opportunity that I did not get when I was younger. When I got it, I try to make it accessible for everyone else. So of course UCLA, our first time being here, is really exciting for everybody. We try to have a lot of diversity, diverse voices, and diverse and different people from different organizations as well. I'm here to explore a little bit more about what it takes to be a leader. And I wanted to take lead in my life and who I am as a youth to create change. There's just wow. so much going on with our world and I'm in this space with a whole bunch of people who have the same mindset and wanting to make an impact and change the world and make a space where there is peace, where there is equality. I feel absolutely inspired. The exciting thing about IYC is that it's a hybrid gathering. So we have people flying in from all over the world to come in person, to be in dialogue, to share and reflect. But in addition to that, we have online sessions and all of our physical in-person sessions are also being live streamed. Well, change comes from where you're at. The more you affect, the more it is able to spread. You can affect people in a positive way where you're empowering them and supporting them, that they're able to identify what their needs are. They know what they need. They know what's the challenges in their areas. Once they get inspired and activated, there is no stopping. I'm privileged enough to fly to here and talk with like-minded people in person. I'm representing Japan, so I want to take full advantage of that whole session of the conference to contribute to my local and my national community. The ability to connect with another person outside of yourself is a powerful experience. To see that take place, to see that so many loving, caring, and compassionate people on this planet that are just waiting for the opportunity to take more action. And I believe that the work that Siji does, the work that's happening here at IYC, are really vehicles of empowerment to get us to that better future.